hi and welcome to sleep eat build this is the first video that will be on this channel which will be a sims 4 building channel and um, for this video I'm making a base game small modern home this is for a couple I can imagine or just a single person I made it 4 times 10 4 by 10 um, and I made it a little more long a little bit longer um, and just for that was just for a challenge to see if I could be able to make it work and I put in a little porch and uh, putting in some steps just so you could have a little more room. Um, putting in some fencing on the sides. And uh, I really wanted to avoid making this house look like a trailer because um, there are some trailers in The Sims 4, um, like houses that are supposed to look like that. And I really wanted to avoid that. I just wanted this to be like a small modern home that you could see in like town where maybe the houses are a little bit closer together. So I'm putting in the windows and uh, for the base game I felt like it's not it's quite limited with the modern windows there are. So I ended up going for these windows that had horizontal and vertical lines. Um, I put in some windows at the top right under the roof using the move objects cheat just because I can imagine if you lived in such a small home it would be nice to have some more room above your head so also some more natural light could come in. Um, I put in some windows here that I eventually end up deleting again because they looked kind of weird to me. I found this um, blue grayish color for the window frames that I really liked so I tried to find some more windows that had that color and just decided to put that all around the house because I felt like it gave a fresh uh, take on the whole window situation as opposed to just white frames. So um, I wanted to see what options I had that had that exact color, so I found the store and I ch ended up choosing one with the green door, um, just so uh, some color could come in, I guess. I put two windows on top of each other, which is in this case a bad idea because they did not work the top ones. They were not transparent, so in the end I ended up removing those because it just looks weird. Uh, I put in some stone for the uh, outer outing exterior, I guess. Um, I felt like that was the only option that actually worked with those windows. I kind of shot myself in the foot with those, but I was so in love with them, so I just stuck to them. Um, I made I made it with these stones to have a more rustic yet modern look, and I put in this chimney just to balance it out. And I ended up moving it over to the right side of the build because I felt like it looked weird where if it since it was on the side where the roof was going down, so I put it up on the other side. I was just going through my options again if there was anything that wasn't stone, but I ended up sticking to it because it just looked bland if I chose something else. So I, I, I stuck with my uh, with my stone theme and uh, I moved the chimney to the other side because it looked funny and I kind of regretted it. So I um, moved it over and uh, just made it a little bit taller so it would actually go above the roof, not just into the roof. And I'm just putting on some tall walls and... Um, I wanted to see if I could make it match with the roof, but that was not possible, so <laughs> I just kept going. And um, yeah, I'm just looking around to see if there's anything I could change. I found this dark foundation, which I felt like looked really nice and, and really went well with the windows and the, with the stone theme. I also ended up going for like a darker roof, also to kind of match with the foundation. I found these uh, fences, I guess, um, that matched the frame color of the windows, the color I was so in love with, so uh, I changed that to match Looking those. back over the footage, I noticed that the fences I used in this build are actually from the uh, Apartment Life, I guess, um, expansion pack, but I checked again and there were other fences that had the same color, so I'm sorry about that. And I felt like white stairs made it look kind of like the rest of the stuff was dirty, so I went for like a... A pale green color just so it wouldn't look weird <laughs> with uh, all my frames and the windows so uh, and same for the material outside I didn't want to go for completely white so I ended up choosing this beige color for tiles for outside the front door so uh, moving in I knew I wanted one bedroom one bathroom and then like a living area with a kitchen and uh, I wanted to make the bathroom three by two because then I could fit everything including a sink and uh, I really felt like that if you had to live in a small space, you wouldn't constantly have to be reminded of it. So <laughs> I wanted there to be options. And uh, and yeah, so I'm putting in the doors, and I chose doors with the uh, glass in them so more light could travel through the home. Um, chose this light green color for the wallpaper also just to have it a more light feel, more natural. 
made wooden floors and made like a white marble out in the bathroom just to have more luxurious feel. Um, I put the uh, TV on the wall just so it wouldn't take up space with the TV stand. And I'm going through the couches and I found this one from the base game which I felt like is the only one that looks kind of modern as opposed to being square or like grandma-ish. So uh, I chose this one with the light blue and the pine tree on it. I ended up putting a shelf underneath the TV as opposed to a coffee table because I felt like that would take up too much space but I still wanted there to be something under the TV because it seemed really empty with just like a blank wall. So I put in the shelves and then I wanted to go for a little plant maybe and some books and just some more homely stuff so I ended up going for this little plant in this blue um, pot <clears throat> that I put right there underneath the TV. So um. I also wanted to have something else, so I found these books that would look good, so I'm just moving them up with the um, pressing 0 and 9, and I'm just placing them on the shelf instead of floating above. So, uh, yep, I put that in, and then I wanted there to be a little rug, just so it actually seemed like a little living area, and kind of a little bit cut off from the kitchen area. So, um, putting in the rug, and it's very limited with the base game uh, rugs, but I managed to make it work. I found this uh, just a little simple rug that I ended up just making white just so there was a little bit of change in the colors. And um, I wanted to put in some uh, curtains or blinds because if it was a house that lived, um, or not, not that, that lived, but if it was a house that was close to other houses, it would be nice. You couldn't just look right out at your neighbor at night. So um, I put in those just for some privacy. I went for this light blue uh, kitchen um, so it would match with the couch and uh, I went for two counters, one for um, what's it called? sink, one for a sink and uh, one for the cooking so you can actually play with the house without it being all uh, mashed together so I'm putting in some cabinets because I could imagine if you had such a small kitchen you would need a lot of storage so I'm just putting these in right now and I end up removing that big lumpy one and just putting the small one also so it didn't cover too much for the window. And I'm just placing those trying to get them to line up. And I just wanted to put in some homely stuff so I put in a bookcase and I also wanted to have like a little bit of clutter so I put in the, the shoe rack and also um, what's it called a rack, a clothes rack um, with a little hat on it and a little coat so it kind of looks realistic as what you would have in a real home. I really love putting uh, these like wall lights on like underneath cabinets so it looks like you have like under the cabinet lighting I guess if that's a word um, because a lot of kitchens have that today but it's not really an option so you can mimic it by putting like normal lights right up under the uh, cabinets. So I'm putting the rest of the light for the living area. I'm I stuck with wall lights because I felt like they gave more of a glow as opposed to like a spotlight which I felt like a lot of the um, ceiling lights did. So I'm um, putting in the dining table and uh, adding some chairs and also a little, little decoration. As I said before the base game doesn't really have that much decoration stuff so it was really limited with what I could have for like a one block, um, a one tile I guess. Um, that wasn't like child related so I ended up just going for this really simple I think it's called butterflies or something just just have something on the wall there put in some tulips <laughs> for some color and some life and, uh, and then I'm gonna head into the bathroom I wanted as I uh, mentioned before there are no no windows so I wanted to keep um, it really light so it wouldn't become too dark and I ended up going for the uh, this light yellow and white theme um, since the shower had like these yellow tiles so I went for a white cabinet with the sink on it and then I put in a little yellow rug to fit the theme and of course there has to be a mirror <laughs> above the sink so uh, I put that in and um, I really wanted there to be a towel rack but the only towel rack that had like this yellow towel was too big so I tried to look for alternatives but there weren't any so I ended up going back to that one um, and felt like that could work anyways so that was good. Um, now I'm heading to, no, not yep, yep, putting lights, yep. Um, these uh, round rice lamps, they actually give a quite nice glow as opposed to a lot of the other ceiling lights so I stuck with those and put one in the bathroom and right over the dining table. 
And for the bedroom, I just wanted there to be a bed and some nightstands and then some sort of um, drawers or something for clothes so your, ch your sims could change clothes. So um, I found that these two tiny nightstands uh, that could fit <laughs> in the wall, kind of, but I, I, I made it work. So uh, I, I just I couldn't live without that nightstand because I use mine daily. So uh, it would kind of suck if you had to just put things on the floor. So I ended up fitting two nightstands in, and I was really happy that there was room for that. And the only t drawers that are in the Sims 4 base game are these like step ones, like they kind of look like stairs. So I ended up going for those because I didn't really have that many options. Uh, it kind of covers the window a little bit, but hey, we gotta live with it. So um, I ended up just keeping those. Uh, I wanted also there to be a mirror, just so it kind of like uh, the room felt a maybe a little bit bigger. Um, because mirrors can sometimes give that effect that is a little bit bigger room. Um, not that I think it would succeed that much in this case, but um, I stuck the mirror in and then I just wanted there to be a little carpet underneath the tape, uh, not the tape, the floor, the bed, <laughs> underneath the bed. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I'm just putting this blue one, just, just a little round one, because there's not really that many carpet options. So uh, again, sticking in the, the wall lights and um, that's about it. For the interior and now I'm just putting in some trees and just a, a little bit of exterior design I guess or landscaping. Um, as soon as I put the trash can outside I realized I forgot to put a trash can in the kitchen so I just hurried <laughs> back in and uh, I decided to move the shoe rack over to the other side of the wall and then just putting in a little bin right next to the shoe rack just because I felt like it would be annoying to have the sims have to go out every time they throw something out so um fit that in, just put some bushes out front so it didn't look so bare, and I just put a hedge all the way around. And uh, I end up replacing the windows at the front with two lights, as you can see in the screenshots after. And uh, yeah, that was it. So uh, here's the external part of the house. There's the kitchen area, and the living room. And uh, and yeah, that was, that was it for this build. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, if you have anything you'd like to see, then write it in the comments. I will take requests. So, um, so yeah, thanks you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.